Hey, Vegeta. Wanna hop on Minecraft today? I bought a realm. <laughs> been a long time since I've been at full power, you freak. Your face is utterly disgusting. Hold on. I've been practicing my building skills, and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Tricks? Ha! I've built entire cities in the blink of an eye. Cack o rot. You little tricks won't impress me. That sounds cool, Vegeta. But hey, let's focus on building something together for once. How about a joint project? A joint project? With you, Kakarot? I'm not sure if I want to tarnish my reputation by collaborating with a low-class warrior like you. Ha 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 ha! Come on, Vegeta, it'll be fun. We can build a massive statue of Shenron, the Eternal Dragon. <laughs> it's fine. But if this statue doesn't turn out to be the most magnificent structure in all of Minecraft, I'm blaming you, Kakarot. Okay, we made it, Vegeta. I will start getting wool for beds. I think you can get us some wood. Then we will be able to set our spawn point. Okay, but I'm not sharing a bed with you, Kakarot. Make sure you kill a lot of sheep so that we got enough to eat. I will chop so much wood that we won't need to chop again for a while. That sounds good, Vegeta. We will miss a lot of materials, and the more we get now, the less we have to do later. And I just killed a pig. We about to have some delicious bacon strips. Ooh, bacon strips do indeed sound quite scrumptious today. I have been working up quite the appetite, doing all this work that were meant for low-class peasants like you. Do make sure that you don't spoil it all with your monkey hands all over it. Don't worry, Vegeta. I will make sure your meal is fit for a prince. Bro, there's so many sheep here. I think Shenrin, the eternal dragon, have blessed us. We have so much food. Kakarot, you fool. There's two chests at spawn. Make the beds quick or we'll be eaten alive by those pesky mobs. Thanks for the wood, bro. You're right. We don't want to have a mob war and die on our first night. By the way, where are you right now? You should probably head back before it's dark. I'm not sure of my location at the moment, Kakarot. Those sleeping arrangements had better not involve our beds being too close together. Bulma tends to get envious if we happen to be playing Minecraft, and I am lost because I was trying to find a village. Unlike you, I actually try and do things that are useful. Hey! That's not fair, Vegeta. I'm sure that's the hungry side of you talking. I also looked for a village. I guess it's just a bad spawn point. Blah, 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 Kakarot. That's all I hear. How about you give me the food before I whack the living daylights out of your pathetic brains? And what did I say about putting the beds next to each other? You fool. I am the prince of all Saiyans, and you will show me the respect I deserve, Kakarot. Your incompetence knows no bounds. Okay, jeez, Vegeta. I get it, bro. You're the prince of all Saiyans. And here's your food, bro. Grab it before it despawns. Congratulations, Kakarot. Without this food, I doubt I would have lasted another moment in this Minecraft world. I will search for a village as you gather iron and blocks for our statue. And it will be my design that is the most prominent. Because I am the superior Saiyan. Oh, we will see about that, Vegeta. But first, I will use the materials to build us a house. Let me know when you found the village and the coordinates. Then I will build us the house in the village. Fine, Kakarot! But I will only let you know once I've looted all the chests! Mwahahahaha! This will be my moment to prove my superiority and show you who the true Saiyan Prince is! Well, you will have to share the house with me. So why not just share the loot? We are in this together, bro. And we need to stand together in order to win. You have made your point, Kakarot. But you're wrong if you think you can associate yourself with a superior Saiyan like me. I hard carry you, bro. If anything, you're just slowing us down, darn it. Wait, what is this? I think I have just found a sunken ship. What a remarkable find. One eternity later. And that's why Chi Chi is the only person I fear in all of the universes. Ha 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 ha! Kakarot! You crack me up! That's so true. 
In fact, Bulma is also the only person I fear. She can go from a zero to a hundred in mere split seconds. Ooh! And it looks like I see a village Kakarot. I will send the coordinates after I've looped. Okay, I just made a boat, and I'm on my way to you, bro. I can't wait to build us a starter house. It's gonna be so cool. It better look cool, and it better be up to my standard. And oh, look, is that a pillager outpost next to the village? Let's see how strong these pillagers are. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. And we have to use the materials we get from exploring to build the house. So if you don't like it, we can always build better houses later. Maybe we can even compete. Like have a build battle, and we can let chat decide who built the better house in one of the next episodes. A build battle? Sounds like a perfect challenge to show you who is the superior sane! If this video gets 5 likes, I will consider accepting your build battle, Kakarot. And I have just saved some allies, bro. I can turn these little blue imbeciles into my personal item pickup slaves. Hey, that's cruel. Vegeta, the lays in Minecraft aren't slaves. They're free to choose who they help, and they're loyal companions, not bound by chains. They share in the adventure and get respect in return. Don't tarnish their name with slavery. How about I tarnish your head with my sword, Kakarot? You lecture me on freedom and respect, but you've always had everything handed to you. I fought for every scrap of power, while you're just a naive fool. My sword will show you true power. Whoa, Vegeta, calm down. No need to draw your sword over a disagreement. We're just talking about Minecraft, not fighting for the fate of the universe. Let's keep it friendly, shall we? Oh, how cute, Kakarot. You think a friendly chat about Minecraft is beneath the great Vegeta? You think I'm overreacting? You're the one who's always so quick to forgive and forget. But I'm the one who remembers every slight, every insult, every defeat. And I'll never forget that you're the one who surpassed me. The one who became the hero. So no, Kakarot, let's not keep it friendly. Let's settle this like warriors. Vegeta, you're still stuck on that? I surpassed you because I was willing to work together and trust others, not because I'm better than you. And I'm not trying to forget the past. I'm just choosing to learn from it and move forward. You're the one who's holding on to grudges and letting them consume you. Minecraft, of all things, should be a chance for us to have fun and relax, not rehash old rivalries. Come on, Vegeta. Let's work together instead of tearing each other apart. Fine, Kakarot. I am bringing the alleys to the village. The house better be built when I get there, with a grand enough design to accommodate their noble presence. And don't even think about using any of that flimsy, weak materials you're so fond of. I expect to see sturdy stone and gleaming metals. A structure worthy of the Prince of Scions, Kakarot. Don't worry, Vegeta. The house is already built. I'm in a cave right now looking for better materials. Like diamonds and iron. Okay, I have successfully secured the alleys at base, Kakarot. Using a leash. But wait a minute. What in the world is this? You've built a shoebox for us to live in? I will not accept this structure, Kakarot. I refuse to inhabit this pitiful shoebox Kakarot has assembled. I will construct a far superior abode with my own two hands. Bro, all this mining and building have made me hungry. And I don't know about you, bro, but I can really use a meal that either Chi Chi or Boma has made. I wonder how far they are with preparing our feast. Hey guys, food is ready! Stop playing Minecraft and come enjoy a delicious meal! Oh, here, Vegeta! This is the first decent meal I've had in three years! I apologize on what you're about to witness! 
Ah, this is good stuff! Man, Goku, you sure eat a lot for a dead guy. You know, that's exactly what King Kai always tells me. But what can I say? I just love to eat. You're telling me. Cool. It's chow time. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Don't forget to tell them to like and subscribe for part two. Stay safe, stay well, and see you guys in the next one.